Welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about networking. I'm in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and I want to talk to you about why networking is your life. Let's jump into the video. Hey, my name is Thomas Wynn, and I'm from a small town called Eastern Pennsylvania. You know, the type of town when you walk down the street and you say hi to everybody and everyone knows your name. Uh, I moved to New York City about 10 years ago and had no connections, no friends, no job, nothing. And I've been able to build a film career and I'm here to share with you some of the tips that I've learned over the past 10 years. And I want you to pay attention because networking can change your life. Your life is only as good as your network. No, you might be saying like, I do network. I am on the Facebook groups. I slide into people's DMs every now and again. If it's not getting the result that you want, if it's not getting you the exact gig and the exact money that you want, then it's not working and you need to try something else, right? Don't worry about it. Don't let it hit your ego of like, but I've been doing this for five years. I've been doing this for five months. Just drop it, change the habit. Also with that, I wanna to talk to you about networking with intention and what that looks like. So. What you want to do is, if you want to travel and be somebody that goes on travel gigs, what you need to do is build relationships with people that are already traveling, that already are doing the types of gigs that you want to be doing, that are in a place where you want to be. And so, how do you connect with those people? How do you bring value to those types of people? Well, there's three ways. The first one, which is the most obvious, is money. You can pay for people's attention, right? That's essentially like if you're taking a class, if you're taking a course, you're paying for that person's knowledge and experience and to be able to learn from them. Value can be just be more than money. The next most popular is time. If you're somebody that doesn't have a lot of money, you can always donate your time to bring value to someone else. What do they need in their life and how much time can you spend? How much time can you afford to bring value to other people's lives? The third one is something that a lot of people don't often think about, and that is connecting them with something or someone that is very important that they need in their life. So it could be something simple. If you're a director of photography, if you're working as a camera operator, that could be providing a piece of gear for someone, right? Say if they need a specific lens and they're having a hard time finding it. Say if, you know, they need some batteries or something and you happen to have the same batteries or you know someone that has the same batteries. You don't even have to rent it, you just connect them of like, oh hey, I know so-and-so has these batteries. That means that in their eyes, you're the person that connects them with some amazing thing that they need. Let's talk a little bit about win-win situation. So a win-win situation is, as I said, both people are winning. Both people in the relationship say it's a job and they're able to pay you your proper rate and you're able to provide all the things necessary. So that's great, both pe people win. Let's talk about win-lose. That's something where they aren't able to pay you enough, you are providing too much gear, something of that nature, and you do agree to do the job anyway. And when you're doing that, it's building a really terrible habit because you're putting yourself on the back end and you're building relationships with people that want to leech you of your energy, that are want to take advantage of you every chance that you can take, right? It's not just the one gig, it's the five gigs after that where you're like, you know, it's been a few months and you still haven't raised my rates, it's still too low. You know, don't start with that habit. Build win-win habits. So the third one is lose-lose. A lose-lose situation is like, they're not winning by having you on board. Maybe you have a different sense of humor, a different professionalism style, and you're losing because they're not paying you enough, if the job isn't creative enough, you know. So just don't start building those types of habits. We're gonna cut to a clip here actually of my buddy Troll that we met here on this trip and he's gonna share his opinions on why networking is so important and let's just cut to it right now. So this is Drove, 
we met on this trip and today we're talking about networking. What is important when you're meeting somebody? Is it the vibe that you get off of them? Is it that they're doing their own thing? Where are you in your life right now when you meet somebody? So what I try to look for is if somebody like shows something to take to a whole other level, you know? Or somebody that's really extreme in something can be really creative or really dedicated, you know, maybe doing something really simple but for 20 years and doing it like completely. So, because I think the way you get really good at one thing, yes. you can learn you're good at everything in a way. Yes. And then there are certain wisdom and experience with that, that I'm really curious and passionate. Gotcha. You know? And that's also my journey and my yes. So, So it sounds like you understand that life is a process and meeting somebody that understands that process, no matter what it is, whether it's pottery, you know, filming, uh, investing, real estate, that meeting somebody and that they know how to grow. Yes. Yes. And uh, dedicated to the journey for many years. Okay, so that was my buddy Thrill. Super awesome guy. I met him on this trip. I want you to take this, watch this video as many times as you need to. Um, but if you're interested in working together, I've developed an eight week coaching program where I've taken all of the filmmaking tools that I've learned over the past 10 years and shoved them into an eight week course. And we work together and here's what some of my clients have to say. I first started working with Thomas three to four months ago when I first decided to go full time as a freelancer. And to be honest, uh, I was pretty clueless in what I was doing. I had a bit of technical skills, but in terms of uh, the business side of things, how to get clients, uh, how to communicate with clients, uh, I was pretty clueless. And I think Thomas and I were able to kind of talk back and forth, kind of suss out a little bit more of kind of the root of the real problems I'm struggling with, the real obstacles. We started out with the ins and outs of what freelancing would look like and how to deal with clients as far as financials go, networking. Necessary strides that I need to do to uh, make 2020, uh, I don't know, happen a bit more under my terms. Also having Thomas there every week to hold you accountable is a very, very useful thing. So Thomas is a very empathetic person and, who's, and also someone who's very good at motivating you and encouraging you through this uncertain journey as a freelancer. So um, as someone who's new to this thing, I, you know, I have insecurities and also, uh, also nervousness about things like anybody else does, right? But uh, Thomas is someone who's, who's gone through all of this, who's done, you know, years and years of, of this work, knows exactly what what uh, this feels like. So it's just been super useful to have someone on your side to tell you that, hey, you know, you're, you're on the right step. Just, uh, just go through it, trust the process and everything will be all right in the end. So if you're interested in learning more, please click the link below and schedule a one hour free phone call with me. And we'll dive into what problems you're currently having in your career and what steps you've currently been taking and we'll work together to see if working together would be a good fit. Sign up right away because there's only a certain amount of seats that I'm accepting because I want to give you my full attention, okay? So thank you for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.